all my women independent throw your hands up in the air apparently this is a uh, she just beat this woman has just beaten the shit out of the patriarchy huh i'm sorry i'm sorry somebody lost their life and i would love to take it seriously but at the same time it's just like yeah i can see a ton of feminists just woo yeah you go girl uh -huh. and i can imagine lifetime making this amazing story about how she how he probably used to beat her and everything else like that it, it's just really really funny um, I'm sorry. This is coming to us from New York Post. Pro boxer Vivian Obanoff suspected of beating husband to death. This is written by Tamar Lappin. And uh, here's a here's just a little bit of her training. Whoop, 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 whoop. Copyright. 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 There we go. getting big one of them, huh I, I mean just because like you know you've retired doesn't mean that you stop training so you know impressive very impressive and not really making it look great for you sweetie as far as <laughs> if you had the ability to you know bludgeon your husband to death one second <clears throat> yeah all right i just got back from the gym i just got back from training myself so a former professional boxer is a prime suspect in the bludgeoning murder of her husband, whose body was found inside their apartment in Switzerland. Brazil-born bruiser Vivian Obanoff, 34, is suspected of clobbering her hubby with a blunt object inside the home they shared, the UK's Daily Star reported. So she didn't beat him. Like, So it's not like she beat him up with her bare hands. <laughs> like, she picked something up and knocked him upside the freaking head. She was arrested last week after the victim, identified only as 61-year-old Tom, was found dead of massive injuries sustained during a violent assault, Swiss police said. Obanoff, who fought in three world title bouts during her career, held a 14-6 record and two World Boxing Federation international titles before she retired last year. She got married on January 25th and opened a gym in the Swiss town of Interla Interlaken, where she lived with her husband, the owner of a restaurant there, according to local newspaper Blick. Uh, it's it's switzerland guys so so yeah they just got married they got married this year oh marital bliss huh that's uh that's a, her in the ring uh, like i like i just female sports female mma and everything else like that it just it doesn't do anything for me I, i'm not in i'm not, i i i think it's at a biological level i'm not interested in watching a woman getting an ass beat even if it is by another woman i don't just don't like women being uh you know put into masculine positions it's something that just irks me personally but i have absolutely no problem with the opportunity being there for women if it can sustain itself wink wink wnba police were spotted searching the gym as well as the couple's apartment located above thomas's eatery De des Alpe alpes Alpe Alpes. You know, it's it's Switzerland. The former featherweight has been arrested at least once before for allegedly punching a man who tried to grope her as she celebrated her 30th birthday in London in 2016, the local report said. It's kind of interesting that he, he gropes you, but you're the one that got arrested in the UK and like in London of all places. So like, you, she probably has a history of aggression being a boxer. Would you be surprised? <laughs> <laughs> she spent several hours in jail on the night of that incident. A man who said he'd previously dated the fighter told Blake he wasn't surprised his ex was back behind bars. <laughs> She's always had two faces. It's like flicking a switch, he said. So that's the end of the story. But let's uh, go. Let's uh, check her out right quick. Because, you know, I saw some other photos of her. She's not she's not unattractive by any stretch, guys she's halfway cute but you know you can kind of see there's a there's a little bit of nuts hold on that other photo wait, wait, wait let's go back to the other photo because you can kind of see that there is a there's a little bit of nuts back there not in that way uh is this her and the husband this is this is her and the hubby oh man yeah yeah sorry bro oh and they had and they had a kid or more than likely he had a kid uh that sucks her 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 and the youngster Man, this is sad. This is actually pretty tragic. But, you know, we keep putting women into the ring and, you know, uh, having them really, like, how do I put it? Like, with their, like, they participate 
in masculine activities and that that require aggression and competitiveness, which isn't particularly um, copacetic with her, you know, natural biological instincts. And he more than likely said something that she wasn't feeling too much. And night night, you know, you're you, you ready to go night night. And she, see, that's the thing. She's not unattractive by any stretch of the imagination. She might be doing some like some she might she may have been doing some like clean roids. I couldn't really tell you. Those are those some gains, sweetheart. Those are some real gains. But either ways, and she got like a, a pretty decent chest on it too. We want to see him pretend like 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 she like, like she ain't got a pretty nice chest on her. I mean, it is what it is. I could see why my man went at it. But let's keep it a buck. That's just the dangers of marriage, guys. Just the dang the absolute danger that is marriage. Mm -mm -mm. so sad so sad so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it a like dislike go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and we get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch you don't like i'm the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications get something from the teespring check me out on patreon as well links in the description and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments i mean it, ultimately the person we should probably feel the worst for is little man because he's now without a dad he's like you know lost his family he's the one that's in the the worst shape of them all and also everything is allegedly she has to she has to have have her day in court so it's all little it's all alleged but i wouldn't i'm, I'm you, you really just can't be surprised <laughs> that a female flop boxer would just like you know tax tax a hubby like that She's not an unattractive chick, man. Yo, like seriously, like no pull out. But you, cut. like I said, like look, look, look. You can see the crazy behind the eyes, though. I mean, like there, like her, like her ex said, there was he, like look at him, look at him, for real. <laughs> like her ex was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised, because man, I'm telling you that that when it's when when she a little off kilter and and, and mentally, it it's a, it's a couple of degrees hotter. Can can we not? Can we not pretend? Can we not lie like crazy chicks ain't got ain't got amazing snatch? Come on, man. Miss me with that shit. Well, either ways, guys, all the internet stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one.